One of the things that we philosophers have to get used to is that some of the most important thinkers, some of the people whose ideas make the biggest impact on philosophy were not themselves philosophers. Among them, I've put six of the most obvious and most uh, important. I wonder how many of you can identify them uh, all just from their pictures. On the left, of course, we have Isaac Newton, and then Einstein, and then Freud. The fellow on the lower left, you probably, many of you won't know, but that's Kurt Gödel, the mathematician. And next to him is one of my particular heroes, is Alan Turing. And then I put B.F. Skinner up there, too. His ideas have been very influential, whether, whether for, for, for good or for ill. These are, these are scientists, all, whose ideas have made a big difference to the way philosophers do their work and how they think about the big questions, about, about the meaning of life in the end. But the number one philosopher who wasn't is Charles Darwin. And of course, I would say that because uh, people know that I am a, a rabid fan of Charles Darwin. They even sometimes go so far as to say that I try to imitate him, try to look like him. I, I don't know why they would say that. I, uh, I, I'm sure there's nothing in it. But in any case, a few years ago, I wrote a book called Darwin's Dangerous Idea, Evolution and the Meanings of Life. And after the book came out, a lot of people asked me the question, well, why is Darwin's idea dangerous? You think it's a wonderful idea. I said, yes, if I could give a prize for the single best idea anybody ever had, I'd give it to Darwin. Ahead of Einstein, ahead of Newton, ahead of everybody else. I think he had the single best idea anybody has ever had. Uh, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. But now the question is, why is it dangerous? Well, people don't ask me that question quite so often today as they did a few years ago. Maybe it's obvious why the idea is dangerous, or a little more obvious. But I'm going to say why I think the idea is dangerous anyway. And I'm going to ask you to imagine, would it be dangerous if, let us say, tomorrow, the people in Great Britain started driving on the right? I think you would agree it would be mayhem. There would be accidents all over the place. It would be a really dangerous place to be, because they've been driving on the left all these years. And you might think that switchover is so dangerous that it would just be impossible. But you know, not so long ago, back in, on a Sunday in September of 1967, the people of Sweden did exactly that. In a single day, they switched from driving on the left to driving on the right. Very few accidents. I don't know if there was any fatalities. It worked beautifully. And it worked beautifully, of course, because they planned for it. And they did it all in unison. They held hands and they took the step together. And even though there was a lot of opposition in various quarters in Sweden, they didn't let you know, the people of Uppsala say, well, you know, here in Uppsala, we're going to do it our old traditional way. If you don't mind, we'd like an exemption. No exemptions. Everybody goes at once, and then it isn't dangerous at all. Now, if the Swedish civil service could have organized and planned for the reception of Darwin's great book on the origin of species, maybe it wouldn't have been so dangerous. But in fact, of course, the book landed on people's minds and people's lives uh, like a ton of bricks. and. From the very outset, there was a tremendous amount of anxiety and hostility and fear. And of course, fear often leads to dangerous reactions. And that's why Darwin's idea is dangerous. Well, why was it so dangerous? What is it about the idea that makes it so dangerous? Well, it's a bit like the situation of switching from driving on the left to driving on the right. You're used to one way of seeing the whole world. And now you're told you have to sort of invert it. Well, in the case of Sweden, after it's over, and you catch your breath, you realize you can still go everywhere you used to be able to go. All the places are still there. They're just as wonderful as ever. You just go a slightly different route. And I think the same thing is true about most of the ideas that Darwin's idea interacts with. It does revolutionize our worldview, 
But once it's revolutionized, the world is pretty much the same. Most of the things that we treasure and that we love are, are unchanged or only slightly adjusted by the impact of this amazing idea.